Hi friends, welcome to Naraishai Technologies, fifth session of time and distance. Now in this session, we will be learning about a concept called average speed. Now let us look into a question. A man travels half of the distance at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour and the remaining half at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Find his average speed for the entire journey. Now this particular problem can be solved in three different ways. Now let us try to solve this particular problem in three different ways and see which method will be easy for us to answer this particular question. Now the first method, in first method we can solve this problem directly by using a formula. Now what is the formula for this particular problem? If a man travels two equal distances at speeds of x kilometers per hour and y kilometers per hour, if he travels two equal distances at speeds of x kilometers per hour and y kilometers per hour, then the average speed for the entire journey is given by 2xy by x plus y. Now using this particular formula, let us try to solve this problem. Now here the man is traveling the first half of the distance at 20 kilometers per hour and the remaining half at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. That is he is traveling two equal distances. So 2 into 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30. Now solving this, it is 2 into 20 into 30 by 50, 0, 0, 5, 6, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 6, 24. So answer is 24 kilometers per hour. Now can we solve all the problems in average speed using this formula? I say no, because this formula is only applicable when the man travels two equal distances. But if he does not travel two equal distances, then how would you solve the problem? So let us look into the second method of solving this particular problem without using a formula. Now let us see the second method to solve this particular problem. Now generally average speed is given by total distance by total time. Now here we do not know what is the distance he is travelling. But he is traveling first half at a speed of 20 and the next half at a speed of 30. Now let us assume the total distance what he is traveling is D. So total distance is D. The first half of the distance he is traveling at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Now in the denominator we need to write the total time. Now what is the time he takes to travel the first half of the distance? Now we know that time is distance by speed. Now the first half of the distance should be d by 2. To travel this distance of d by 2, he is traveling at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. So time taken by him to travel the first half of the distance should be d by 2 by 20 plus remaining half that is another d by 2, he is traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Then the time taken by him to travel the second half of the distance should be d by 2 by 30. Now solving this d by, now this is d by 40 plus d by 60 which is d by, now the LCM of 40 and 60 is 120, so it is 3d plus 2d. Still further solving this we get 120d by 5d. D and D get cancelled 120 by 5, 24 kilometers per hour. So this is the second method of solving this particular problem. But this method, in this method, we take lot of time to the to do the calculations. So it's a time-consuming process. Now how to answer this particular question in maximum two steps? Now let us see the third method where we can solve this problem in maximum two steps. Now the third method to solve this particular problem. Now we know that average speed is total distance by total time. In the previous method, 
there is second method we have assumed the total distance as d now instead of assuming the total distance as d let us assume a number now how should we take that number in such a way that our calculations are easy now a number which is exactly divisible by 20 and 30 now what is the least number which is exactly divisible by 20 and 30 it is 60 now assume that 60 as first half of the distance so obviously the second half of the distance also should be 60 by now the first half of the distance 60 kilometers he is traveling at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour so how many hours is he going to take 60 by 20 which is 3 plus the second half of the distance that is the second 60 he is traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour how much time is he going to take 60 by 30 which is 2 hours so answer 120 by 5 24 kilometers per hour now we can clearly see which method is easy for us to answer the question if we know how to find the LCM in a simple way if you are able to tell what is the LCM of 20 and 30 quickly definitely to solve this problem in this method would be the best method now let us look into one more problem thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to nourish it